Hey guys, today we are going to add our site to Google Search Console with the URL prefix method. Let's search for Google Search Console. Open it and click on Start Now. Like I said, we are going to use URL prefix method and it says we should write or better paste our URL here. After this, when we click on the Continue button, Search Console will check for verification that the Google account owner is the owner of the website. So since we already verified ownership on Google Analytics, this step is easy for us. But on your site, Google may give you options from you can choose on how to verify ownership. That looks exactly like these options here. You can use HTML file tag or other options. Today we are going to use HTML file option. So we download the file from here. If you don't want to log into your hosting or you don't have the hosting access to the website you are working on, you can upload this file to the root directory of, the, of this website with a plugin called File Manager. It is very easy to use and does the job. It automatically opens the root directory of our website. All we need to do is find the upload button and upload the HTML file Google gave us to this directory. We uploaded the HTML file in the root directory of our website and now we go back to Google Search Console to check its verification. Now we have successfully verified as an owner to this website. This URL prefix method to add a website to Search Console requires us to add all the URL variations of our website domain name. I will add HTTPS with www, HTTP and HTTP with www prefix which is not required, as we can see later in this video. But this is an information that is good to know. We have one last thing to do in Google Search Console tools. Without giving the website sitemap to the Search Console, all this work is useless. WordPress has its own sitemap for the websites. But as 5 plus million other users say, we are going to use Yoast SEO plugin to create a sitemap for us. Now install and activate this plugin to your website. No matter what kind of website it is. Shop simple website, blog, etc. In the plugin's general options, Futures tab, on its sitemap feature, click on the question mark. Then on See the sitemap XML and copy only the part that is missing in Add new sitemap search console tool. Now paste these to all the prefix versions we added to Google search console. We are done. If you find this tutorial helpful, please subscribe and ring the bell.